Good morning guys from Stokoa Gap. We are getting ready to head out. Uh, it is turning out to be a beautiful morning and the sun's out and the rain. Yay! And we're getting ready to head eight miles to Yellow Gap. It's funny, we were staying down in that and when I walked out, when I walked out of the house. Okay, so the trail goes across the road we are seeing. And then what I should have grabbed off my backpack. Okay. I'm slack packing, so he's taking my main pack around. Yeah. Sunglasses. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't realize. Look at this view. Oh my gosh. It's just breathtaking. Okay, I don't know what I was thinking, but stupid me. Decided to overpack food. I've been good up until now, but I was thinking about going into the Smokies and everything, and I have packed way too much food. It is so, my pack is the heaviest it has been. It's got to be at 30 pounds. Yikes. So, an, an unfortunate byproduct of having Crohn's disease and no colon is that your stomach and your gut is constantly making noise. It's very embarrassing. And now Morgan's used to it now, but on um, the first couple of days she kept asking me if it was a bear. Yeah. <laughs> so um, yeah, welcome to my world. Look at the little bird's nest. Beautiful morning to be hiking. the sun coming through even if it is going straight up so you're still going up you can see through the trees and mountaintop and the fogs you're actually above the fog now and this is what we just came up of course it looks very flattened uh, mountains on this side as well and then this goes on up to where you can't even see it so, straight incline. Okay, in case someone has not warned you lately, the climb out of Stokoa Gap is like crazy steep. Serious climb, especially with a stupid heavy pack. It's pretty though. I think I may have eaten a gnat or two just now. Look at this beautiful guy, he's so pretty. Oh, he's drying his wings. First clear view today. And it's beautiful. And possibly that is Montana. We should be there tomorrow. All goes well. Yeah, these look like great fun, but um, actually it's a myth. They are not. It is not a playground for adults. This is called a rock jumble, and it's a big pain in the butt. It is so lush right in here. It's just beautiful. Can't stop taking photos. I keep hoping to see a bear, you know, from a distance, running away. Look at this camp spot. Water down there. Look over there, that is so pretty. This is a beautiful spot. I'm not really sure what these are. I'm sure somebody out there might know. But they have little flowers underneath. They're so cute. Okay, so I showed you one of my earlier videos, the May apple, and the little apple underneath. Yeah, I know. 
that. I can't help it. Sorry, not sorry. So we just got to Yellow Creek Gap. Um, seems a little over seven miles, and um, you know, I don't know if it's just the weight of the pack or what, but my knees and feet are, are hurting. But anyway, um, we are waiting for a shuttle driver. Morgan found a cabin for $47. So we are going to take a chance and risk it. And uh, it's out of campground, so hopefully um, it will be decent. And I'm hoping that it actually has electricity and a shower. But anyway, she's trying to get um, into town so that she can go to Mass. And I, we're getting picked up at 10.30 in the morning to go into Fontana, and Greg is, is coming to visit, I think. And I'm probably going to take a day with him before I start the Smokies. Um, not going to lie, pretty worried about the Smokies. Uh, you know, you're, you're kind of um, at the mercy of the shelters, which they're around 12 miles apart, and... Um, you know, you can't, you can't stealth camp, um, the soldiers don't have privies, so it's, it's a little, you know, there's not really a good jumping off point, you can go to Gatlinburg, but, um, that's a really expensive shuttle ride. So anyway, um, you know, I'm going to try to finish the Smokies in, uh, six days or so, um, that's probably about the best I can do right now. And I'm, I'm a little scared that I'm not going to be able to do it. But anyway, right now we're waiting to go uh, see this cabin that Morgan has <laughs> gotten. Okay, so we just got a ride here to the campground. And we <laughs> think that this is our, <laughs> our little cabin. Um, we don't know for sure. Well, Morgan got an email. But um, yeah, it's... Uh, it's cute. It's a cute area. Uh, the door was open when we got here and I got the spiders out and we are getting ready to unpack and so <laughs> there's only one bed and it's, it's a little funky smelling in here but it'll work. So we're going to be bunk mates tonight <laughs> but that's okay. It's cute. Our little motorcycle cabin. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Um, we are getting ready to leave our little humble abode back there. Uh, slept pretty good. And uh, Morgan is going to mass this morning in town. Unfortunately, none of the ladies of the church um, or men were able to pick us up this morning, so uh, we are walking the two miles into town along the road. Yay, and it's raining, but hopefully um, that's going to stop pretty soon, supposedly. So I'm going to stop at McDonald's and have coffee and eat something and wait for her there, and she's going to meet me there, and then we're going to get picked up and get back to the trip. <laughs> Yep, this is our morning view, walking down the highway. <laughs> we are indeed hiker trash now. We, we, have, uh, we have finally become. The 
At least we have a pretty, pretty uh, interesting view while we're walking into town. I cannot get over the dedication this girl has to get to Mass. <laughs> really blows my mind. So you definitely need to follow her channel if you get a chance hiking with hymns. So I found out why there were so many sports cars in Robinsonville. Okay, so we're back on trail. We stopped at this very rustic shelter. Do you know what shelter this is? Cable Gap. Cable Gap. Um, yeah. This is probably not one I'd want to spend the night in unless I was just desperate. I don't know if you can see it or not, but there's like this huge hump in, and um, it has a reputation for a very leaky roof. You can see right there. I would probably try to tent here if I could. But anyway, we're only like nine tents um, back on the trail. <laughs> We've got over six and a half miles. So uh, the weather, we're hoping will hold out. We were cold at first, but um, both of us have obviously warmed up now. Just stop for the privy and to admire this shelter. It's not holding the buckle. It's a really nice water source here though. Cool caterpillar. Thought it was a little bit of uh, lichen at first, but it's a butterfly caterpillar. Pretty. So we are still climbing up. This is pretty cool. See that tree growing out of the rock. Oh, that's a big one. So we can see Fontana Lake, but we are still so far away. Okay, I think we are finally going down. Fingers crossed. And look at this coal and the tree is growing around it. Okay, so all of our mud got hydrated last night. As you can see, the trail is an extremely slick and very muddy mess. So we are trying to stay on our feet. Oh, it's so nice to see the sun. So we are never going to get to the parking lot because, yes, we are taking pictures again, but it's just so gorgeous. So as we get down to the lower elevations, the trail is just gorgeous. Muddy and slick, but gorgeous. Hey, bud. Hi, cutie. 